Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we are will now talk about lipids. So we have already covered carbohydrates, proteins and nucleic acids. So now let us spend some time talking about lipids. So what are lipids? So lipids are heterogeneous organic compounds. So they are also made up of carbon. They, they contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. They are water insoluble. So when you talk about their composition, they are made up of these three elements, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. They have more of carbon and hydrogen and they have less oxygen. They also have little, little amount of minerals like phosphorus, nitrogen and sulfur. Now since these lipids have less amount of oxygen, that's why they need more oxygen for oxidation. And that is why they release more energy than carbohydrates. So they are a better source of energy than carbohydrates. So I'll give you a very simple example of lipids. In human beings, how do, from where do we get energy? We talked about instant sources of energy and that was the monosaccharides. You remember glucose, instant source of energy. When you talk about storehouse of energy, it was polysaccharides like glycogen. But glycogen was the secondary storage of energy, which is the primary energy storage. That is nothing but fats. Fats are nothing but lipids. So these lipids, that is what we are going to talk about now. So lipid, under lipids, we'll talk about oils, fats and all these things. So they are all water insoluble. They are made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. They have lesser oxygen when compared to carbohydrates. That is why they release more energy when required and that is why they are the primary storage or primary storehouses of energy now they are insoluble they, they uh, therefore they are components of membranes that divide the water components in the body for example when you talk about the cell membrane which is the boundary for both animal cells as well as plant cells the cell membrane has a bi lipid bilayer structure that is it has two layer of lipids because the lipids are insoluble in water so it will not allow water to pass through it so that that is why it acts as an efficient boundary for those places that divide the water comp components in the body so they are water insoluble so if you look at the functions of lipids so to sum up whatever i told in the previous slide the primary function is energy storage in the form of oils or fats and the secondary function would be structural roles like the construction of cell membranes in both plant cells as well as animal It also acts as a water barrier as I said since lipids are insoluble in water so their water insolubility helps them to act as water barrier. They also act as messenger for example the steroid hormones when we say steroid hormones you can consider examples of the uh, male and the female uh, hormones like the progesterone and the testosterone so they help the hormones basically they act as messengers they uh, convey information from one part of the body to another so they are also lipids steroids are nothing but lipids. They are also constituents of plant pigments like chlorophyll, carotene, etc. They are also used in, they are also found in wax, rubber, vitamins A, E, K. So these are another uh, functions of lipids. So that means we can see that lipids also perform a variety of functions. So lipids are not always related to fats, which we think is something not very desirable. So if somebody is too fat, I mean, we start dieting saying that we should lose some weight. So that is a different aspect altogether because if you have too much of accumulation of fats that might even that again might cause some health issues. But as long as you have it in the desired quantity, it is always going to help you. So now let us talk about the different types of lipids. So when you talk about the types of lipids, so broadly lipids are of two types. Simple lipids and compound lipids. Now these compound lipids can further be classified into the following types that is phospholipids 
Okay, before that, let me tell you what is simple lipid and what is compound lipid. Compound lipid is something which is not purely lipid. So it has a non-lipid group attached to the lipid group. So for example, phospholipid. So phospholipids will have a phosphate group attached to it. Similarly, you have another type called glycolipids. Glycolipids will have polysaccharides attached to lipids. That is why glycolipids are also known as lipopolysaccharides. So they have a polysaccharide attached to the lipids. There is another type called lipoproteins. That is protein group attached to the lipids. So phosphate with lipids, proteins with lipids or polysaccharides with lipids. They all fall under the category of compound lipids. Whereas when we talk about simple lipids, they are all pure lipids. They do not have any non-lipid component as such. So the type under simple lipids, you have the following types. The first type would be triglycerides. One type would be the fatty acids waxes and steroids. So these are the types of simple lipids. The steroids can further be classified into two types that is sterols and steroid hormones. So when I talk about steroid hormones, so it is, I'm talking about hormones like progesterone and testosterone. When I'm talking about sterols, I'm talking about something like cholesterol. So they are all pure lipids. So now in this lesson, we are not going to talk about all of these in detail. However, for some of the important ones, we'll discuss a few things in detail. For example, we'll talk about fatty acids. We'll talk about triglycerides and we'll spend some time on phospholipids. So these three things we'll discuss in little detail, their structure, their functions. For others, we'll not get into their details at the moment. So let us... Before that, before we get into each of these types, let us talk about the structure of lipids. So let us look at the structure of lipids. <clears throat> so when we talk about the structure of lipids, the way we had a building block in case of proteins, carbohydrates and nucleic acids. Proteins, it was amino acid. Nucleic acid, it was nucleotides. For carbohydrates, it was um, the saccharides, monosaccharides. So what is there in this case, in case of lipids? So the building block of lipids are the fatty acids. So the fatty acid, as the name says, acid, so they will have a carboxyl group, that is the COOH group. So what will it consist of? Any fatty acid will have a hydrocarbon chain that is carbon and hydrogen so a hydrocarbon chain and a carboxyl group so the carboxyl group will make it acid and the hydrocarbon chain will be there so it will be the structure will be somewhat like this let us suppose this is the carboxyl group and this is the hydrocarbon chain so this is how the structure of a fatty acid will be So this is how a fatty acid will look like. Now again when we talk about fatty acids, there are two types of fatty acids. We will talk about that a little later. So for now you should understand the fatty acids are the building blocks of lipids and of the structure of fatty acid consists of a hydrocarbon chain and a carboxyl group. This carbox, presence of this carboxyl group makes it an acid. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.